Yo, what is going on guys? It's Dimku here and today I'll be teaching you guys how to get better at Bed Wars and give you guys the best Bed Wars tips and tricks. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. Enjoy my guild to see some of the stuff I'm talking about in this video and apply if you need a friendly community or guild. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So tip number one is getting the Bedwars overlay. There are two links I'll leave down in the description to the Statusfy overlay and the Bedwars overlay. They both work the same, but I personally use the Statusfy overlay just because it's cleaner. The other overlay, however, shows you risky people and snipers. Having an overlay can make you queue out of sweaty lobbies and improve your stats. I recommend dodging at 2.5 FKDR and parties of 1 FKDR. Overall, it's a really useful tool every single Bedwars player needs. Tip number two is to develop good game sense. Game sense is basically knowing what to do and who to go for and focusing on each team in the game. You can develop good game sense by playing more often and just watching videos. Some YouTubers I recommend are Bombies. She makes great videos on the IYN strat and his 280 FKDR. I also recommend Luvanox for his doubles videos. He has really good game sense and he's really interesting to watch. For solos, I recommend watching Vixon or Purpled's old videos. Vixon was a solo leaderboards player, and Purpled was really good at solos. I have two tips that are for different playstyles, but the third tip is to main doubles on airshow. Maining doubles on airshow means you can't get side rushed because of how long the distance is, and rushing obby isn't that hard on airshow. Maining doubles also means you can get lots of finals to improve your FKDR if you don't take an FD. And I'm also not the best at doubles, but to increase your FKDR on doubles is easier and you'll get more finals and XP because games are longer than 3s and 4s. My fourth tip is the complete opposite for the other play style, but it's main 3s and 4s by doing half IYN and the IYN strat. I'll leave some videos that showcase the IYN strat and what it is. And for half IYN, it's the strat me and my friends made up. So basically, you have a first, second, and a defender. First gets 28 iron and gives all their gold to second. Second gets TNT and whatever they want with the iron. And defender gets 24 iron and 4 gold and places end stone in a butterfly pattern with wood around it. Second drops the TNT on the bed and basically suicides it. And then the first drops down and gets it. Defender stays at the base until they take out the team. And once they took out the team, they're free to go to the next base and rush. Make sure you don't get sandwiched in threes because you basically lose, guaranteed lose. Anyways, threes and fours is good because you get quick wins and a handful of finals depending on your role and knowledge on how to play efficiently. My fifth tip is to never play solos and instead spend time looking in lobby one for parties. It's a great way to find people to play with. Just make sure to look up their stats before you party with them and decide whether or not you want to party with them. It's always your choice. You can do slash f add dubs op to add this bot as a friend and once you edit as a friend you can do slash t dubs op. This will set you up in a conversation with the bot and now you can type any IGN and it will show the stats of the player. It's pretty convenient. Look for parties in the game mode you decide to main from tips 3 and 4, doubles, triples, or 4s. My sixth tip is to learn how to block in really fast. If you watch ranked Bed Wars YouTubers such as Herden, his block ins are really fast. Here's how I practice block in. Basically I went to a private game or a single player world and stacked blocks above me and made the roof and the walls on the side. You can basically have to click precisely more than fast because this will happen. But yeah, blocking is super helpful for long games where they have a fat defense or everybody's sitting on a bed while someone is taking for you. I used to practice this a lot and it's super helpful. My seventh tip isn't really how to get better but it's how to level up faster. This is all in one tip. So if there's a tournament going on you get 100 tributes and there's a 5% Bed Wars XP multiplier. I have this on my Dimku account and it's really OP. This helps you get more XP per game and it's really convenient. And if you have MVP Plus, turn on Auto Quest. It basically makes it so you don't have to remember to turn on your daily quests and your weekly quests. And it's super nice. Just know that quests reset at 12 a.m. EST. The next tip is to practice PvP. And PvP is a small aspect of Bed Wars. And I'm not saying you need to be good at PvP to be good at Bed Wars, but it'll help a lot. And you can do bridge duels on Hypixel because there's no rod and it warms up your PvP. Another option is bed bridge fights on Bed Wars Practice Club. I'll leave the IP in the description, but yeah, basically these do Bed Wars PvP and they're most similar and you don't need a rod, so it'll warm you up before your games. My ninth tip is some visual appearances in the game. So the first thing is to get this overlay for your texture pack. It basically has a different breaking animation and makes your resources bigger and it's super helpful and makes the blocks different. So if you're playing fours, it's really nice. And also if you have Lunar or Bad Lion, make sure to turn on item physics so everything's on the floor so you can see it easier. 
And lastly, I'll leave some texture packs in the description that I think are nice for Bed Wars. And yeah, those should help you out completely. My last and final tip to help you out is to go for high win streaks and grind stats to help motivate you not to throw. And going for high win streaks will encourage you to pick better teammates that won't take final deaths. And if you grind stats such as FKDR and win-loss ratio, then you can get into really good lobby one parties and guilds. So if you're around 100 star, 5 FKDR, you can get into decent parties. And in my opinion, if you have way too many final deaths and a low FKDR and you don't think you can fix it, then try and start a new account. And yeah, those were my top 10 tips for Bed Wars on how to get better. Everything I talked about will be left in the description. I tried really hard on this video to give you guys the best tips and resources. So if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.